Okay, hello everybody. I'm Aphrodite Rose Starfire. And uh, I wanted to make this video because it's been a hot minute since I've logged on to Instagram. Like months. And I'm not really, even before that, I was not very active on Instagram. But, um, and I'm even less active on Facebook. But, uh, I was just scrolling through my Instagram feed because it's been so long and um, noticed it's just saturated with NK Ultra and all kinds of subliminals and um, 5D meanings and such, synchronicities and codes and I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. So, okay, let's start here. This looks very um, satanic. There's an eight, the Vesica Pisces. There's very many sigils in this. Uh, CC's 33, got the pentagram, kind of a rail railroad worm structure. Um, Kind of a prism with kind of multiplying cells it looks like maybe like metastatic cancer going through a basement membrane here 49er stuff elon musk he's doing some kind of masonic uh, hand sign here his head up pointed up um, I have a better picture of Elon Musk. Okay, this says like a boss. As you can see, there's absolutely zero brow ridge on this person. Their forehead goes straight into their eye socket with no bone overhang. Very feminine um, skull trait. But I do have to say the hand does look masculine. These are actually updated since I last looked at um, my feed since I'm recording this. Uh, oh, Alicia Silverstone. I used to look identical to her in Clueless when I was in high school and I tried to look like her. Her son, Bear, she apparently, um, <laughs> three, three minutes, 33 seconds remaining is probably a trans. And look, she has pigs on the wall and sheep, of course. Pig and a sheep and a ladder. Hmm. Yeah, but apparently she bathes with her quote unquote son up until this day at this age naked, which is kind of strange. Her son has the jawline of a oh. Oh. Top five of what? Oh, net worth. Bernard Arnault. I haven't heard of that person before. Bernard Arnault. Oh, Britney, oh, I have more Britney Spears. This is like a transcendental kind of thingy. Third eye. Huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mark Hoppus is um, Masonic. This is about 3D printing. I haven't even gotten to the spot where I wanted to start. <laughs> okay. Oh, Brittany. Brittany looks so sad. She's messaging. Um, she's definitely sending out codes. I don't know if it's she's being told to do it. 
When the human race learns to read the language of symbolism, a great veil will fall from the eyes of men. They shall then know the truth, and more than that, they shall realize that from the beginning, truth has been in the world unrecognized, save by a small but gradually increasing number appointed by the lords of the dawn as ministers to the needs of human creatures struggling to regain their consciousness of divinity. Manly Palmer Hall. Oh, I thought that was Houdini. <laughs> They don't have one on their baby. Don't, don't, don't. Woof. For reals. This is not real, people. Whoa. This is where I wanted to start. So apparently I'm friends with this out in the open mason. This just says, we are one. Okay, so everybody, if you're saying we are one, where we go one, we go all, that's Masonic. So that's hive mind mentality stuff. Plastic surgery. Huh. Of course there's a hose. A rose. Huh. Illuminati. Cool. Um, here's Brittany. See, she has the choker with the rose on it. She's signaling that she's being silenced by the order of the rose here. And I just want you to notice how thick her trapezius muscles are, and how thick her neck is. It's very masculine, this neck shoulder situation. Or it looks like she has some kind of thyroid deficiency, but especially this part of her shoulder. And she has a gigantic head, big, Cranium with deep set eyes to the bone structure over her eye. That's a brow ridge. That's a masculine skull trait. She's looking very sad. Here's this uh, skull with a Madonna and child and a double headed eagle. Rebus. Cute. The weirdo no hope diagram proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is no hope. Kristen Cavallari. I thought this picture looked so witchy. The dark tint and the way she has her children facing backwards. She looks very evil. And again, look at her eyes. She has the deep set eyes behind that structure of bone. That's the brow ridge. The, there's a bone overhang of her eye socket. That's a male skull trait. Rainbow 
a splatter sheep. Interesting. Zippers. Black goo. Cherries. Flaming Phoenix. Rainbow sand. Okay. The next is a androgynous Madonna. I don't know who this is. Sorry. Fuck cancer. Okay, cool. Uh, this looks very evil looking. Uh, da -da -da. I thought this picture was interesting. It says, old picture taken the day before he proposed to Kim Kardashian in San Francisco. I don't know if it's just me, but this looks like a fake digital image. He looks maybe fake, but more real than this image to me. I don't know if the shadow quite matches, but okay. Okay, so this is Elon Musk on his Instagram. Elon Musk and baby. I wanted you to notice straight away that Elon Musk has no brow ridge. So those brow ridges on the so-called females I was just showing you, where there's a bone overhang over the eye socket, Elon Musk does not have that. Elon Musk has a feminine skull with no brow ridge. Elon Musk also has hips wider than the shoulders. The shoulders, as you can see, go to the middle of the shoulder on the shirt. This is, and it kind of looks like Elon's pregnant and very busty, very busty. Not very long arms, but I, again, I do have to say the wrists look quite, the hands do look masculine and the wrists are very thick. So, very interesting individual here. The baby has ships, it looks like, like sail ships on its onesie. And then Elon's shirt, I don't know what it says. It looks like a sun with some kind of circle and a symbol in the middle. It looks like rant tour or Maybe Ragnarok or Crater, I don't know. Mark Hoppus there, Miss Masonic. And did the hitman have a hitman? We are one brothers. It's a Masonic picture. The Freemasons with their hands on their various documents. And the checkerboard floor. Here we go. Here's another one from Brittany. It's a pink rose on a book. Looks like Nicholas Nickleby. That's kind of about a orphan. She says, some say they smell the fragrance of roses while communicating with angels in prayer or meditation. Did you know? I didn't either. P.S. Angels use rose scents as signs of their spiritual presence because roses have energy fields that vibrate at a high electrical frequency, the highest of any flower on earth. In other words, buy some damn roses. I, I don't know what's with these celebrities using the word damn. It has to do with water, holding up water, damming. 
Um, she's communicating, I think, that she's held by the Order of the Rose. I put, Brittany, I am with you. We grow strong with thorns. Break through the diamond prison. You are more than the reflection. Here she is again. And she puts emojis of these hats with um, a bow on it. But from far away, the, these emojis look like, it looks like a neck with a choker, like a neck with a bow tie choker to me, which I think she wants you to look at her choker and her, yeah, again, her neck. It's just so masculine, this muscle structure. I mean, if you just, if you just looked at her, you know, like, like that, you probably think that's a man with the choker on. And her eyes are just so. See again, look at that deep set eye. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it. Hi guys.